And let us spur one another on towards love and good deeds is what the author of Hebrews 10, 24 tells us to do. Yesterday, we talked a little bit about what um, our words are saying to others to spur them on. But today, there's something else we should consider. Um, and that's the word good deeds. One great way to spur somebody on towards doing something is good is you influencing them by doing something that's good. And the motive behind why we do what is good, people can see through motives. It's, it's I, I know you can, I know I can. And so as leaders, we need to make sure, first of all, that our motives are pure. Why, what are our actions saying? If our actions are self-seeking, it's probably not going to spur somebody on to to do actions on their own. But if our actions are really for the good of somebody else, it is so encouraging. I know it is for you and for me when we watch people do actions that are that that help inspire other people that are totally good deeds that come that are a sacrifice to you. So think today of some ways that maybe you can inspire inspire other people by the deeds that you do for others that are totally not about you, that you've left yourself um, arrested and you've done your own thing for somebody else, a good deed for somebody else. So as you look around your workplace today, think of some things that you can do that would totally take a sacrifice on your part, but it would, it would show the work, your workplace a good deed and that good deed, I guarantee you, will help inspire in a workplace filled with good deeds, watching your action and the effects of another good deed happening. So consider it. Thanks. Thanks.